I'm Lauren. This is Luke. We live in the Blue Mountains in Australia. In Sydney. Yeah, just west of Sydney. So it's beautiful. We love nature. We have five children yes. together. Um, we're both leather workers. Lauren's a jeweler. I'm a hairdresser. Good. That's one really main aspect of us moving to the light phone because we wanted to, we have lots of, so we have all of our children that moving into teenage years or wanting a smartphone. Uh, we wanted to show an example of not just being in the screen so that we can help <laughs> create good habits for them. Yeah. Um, and awareness around exactly what a phone is and is not. Yeah. And how they're using it. Yeah. Mm. Because there's nothing worse than when people, I think parents operate on do as I say, not do as I do. We'll be out eating dinner or whatever, or on public transport or hanging, walking around the city and just go, look at those people having a picnic. But yet both of them are sitting right opposite each other, almost touching, but both on their phones. Screen, yeah. Food shows up, no one says thank you. And I'm like, like that's what we don't want for our children is, is to not be able to say, oh, what do you recommend? Like, we love talking to anyone we come across and go, oh, what do you recommend? What do you have for lunch here? Yeah. You know, blah, blah, blah. And it's yeah. not, not normal anymore, I would say. We're both we're all big book readers in the house. So you just kind of get back to that and you stop, you know, having the world in your pocket is not as, yeah. as great as everyone makes it out to be. It's such a distraction. You know, your attention span drops to like that of a three-year-old. <laughs> We bought a computer that sort of has the capability to turn into a tablet so we can do those sorts of things as well. We just decided that doing answering emails and sending emails was a time that we set apart mm -hmm. as part of working on our business and we just sit down and do that and that's fine. And that, for me personally, made me feel so much more relaxed. I didn't feel like I was torn and drawn and you know, trying to do everything at once while I'm picking up children, trying to answer my emails. Making orders. Yeah, doing orders, fulfilling orders. I've got to quickly post it on Instagram. I just, we just set them apart. Mm. And we, so we leave the smartphone at the studio and it happens in work time. And then when we go home, we're just at home. So when, when we turned to the light phone, obviously we didn't have a camera. Um, we found any way that all of the, the phone is full of photos that you really yeah. don't do anything with. Yeah. Um, but so we went out and bought a little compact sort of Canon mirrorless camera that we can put in a bag and easily shoot beautiful photos when we know we're going to go on a really spectacular bushwalk or all together, we get cool family shots and yeah, yeah, that's fine for us. Um, so we have what's called a dock. We actually have two docks. So there's one in the kitchen and one in a very common space. Everybody has to dock their device, whatever that be, if it's an iPad or a, you know, a telephone. Um, they can have it on. There's some hours. So between basically eight and eight or nine, yeah. depending on the time of the week, where it has to be off for nighttime, definitely not too close to bedtime. So we actually turn the internet off. Yeah, we turn the internet it. gets unplugged and the phone isn't just put on silent, it's put turned off. And, and and we do the same thing. We turn ours off, our phones aren't in our pockets, we don't have tech in the bedrooms. We yeah, in order to have this strict regime, we had to follow suit. So noticeable that when he didn't have the smartphone and yes. he was on the non-smartphone, he would engage with drawing, yes. engage with the house more. Yes, more music. More, play more music on his guitar, um, totally read more books. They all read books all the time, but it was, it's really noticeable. And just, have, just, just in the way he interacted was really noticeable and not just by us, by other external family members and friends. Mm. So that is really important. All the time. I think sometimes people realize that we don't use our phones a lot when we're out with them. And then eventually you pull your phone out to check it and they go, you hear it, you hear the message go, bing, bing. And they go, oh, what's that? And I ask my phone. <laughs> and then it's a conversation, right? And yeah. we've now got two or three other of our circle who also have gone onto the live phone. So like, oh man, that's brilliant. 
And they were also using the older style Nokia you know, phones, Nokia you know? type phone. And, and no, no one knew it existed. Yeah. Especially here in Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Our philosophy on it is like when our last child is out of home, we're going to give up living in a house and go and live mobile as artists in our big bus that we're about to purchase. So our whole life is about going light and going, how, how, how much can you strip back mm. to get to the essence of just being like making and cooking and hanging out at the beach? And while you wouldn't think technology would be the, the, the heaviest load, for us, it, it really is. Mm. It really is the first thing that had to go is the technology, the internet and the, the need for it. Yeah. It's like takes up the smallest amount of physical space, but the biggest emotional or mental and sometimes physical with like the time and having to be on it all the time. But that had to go first. Yes.